In this industrial edge-to-cloud demonstration, we'll show the power of workload consolidation in an industrial edge node running both real-time and artificial intelligence workloads on a single platform. Two Linux Foundation open source projects are at the heart of the edge device in this demonstration. Project Acorn is a flexible, lightweight reference hypervisor built with real-time and safety criticality in mind, optimized to stream embedded development through an open source platform. The Zephyr project strives to deliver a best-in-class real-time OS for connected resource-constrained devices and is built to be secure and safe. In this demo, we'll show an end-to-end -end scenario using both Acorn and Zephyr. The use case is an industrial edge node concurrently running real-time and artificial intelligence applications. Many edge devices require a strict real-time behavior for some core functionality, for example, when controlling a robot arm. Doing advanced processing on the same edge platform yields faster real-time reaction times and optimizes use of the infrastructure and network bandwidth. Zephyr is running in a real-time virtual machine under the Acorn hypervisor. The real-time characteristics of the Zephyr VM are monitored by running the cyclic test benchmark inside it. Running concurrently on the same platform, but in a different virtual machine, is an object detection algorithm based on TensorFlow in a Docker container. The Edge node is constantly analyzing a video stream, detecting various objects, and raising alerts when certain conditions are detected. Alerts are sent by the Edge node to a back-end system in the cloud, along with a video snapshot of what happened leading up to the alert. Let's begin by booting up the Edge device. From the Boot menu, select Acorn Hypervisor to boot into the full Claire Linux desktop of the service VM. After logging in, we start up the containerized AI workload for object detection. Docker Compose starts up a few containers. The object detection container is up and running and can now detect objects, such as a cup. And a cell phone. From another terminal tab, we start a privileged Zephyr VM using the Virtual Machine Manager. From this Zephyr VM, we start the cyclic test benchmark to measure the real-time latency in the Zephyr kernel. Cyclic test measures the amount of time that passes between when a timer expires and when the thread which set the timer actually runs. These measured numbers are sent through a message queue and displayed on the dashboard in the cloud, as we'll later see. Now let's move over to the cloud side. From a desktop computer, we use Docker Compose to start the containers to launch a monitoring dashboard and open a browser window to view it. There are four sections on the dashboard that show sample information in our demonstration setting. First, Real-time alerts from the object detection algorithm based on TensorFlow in a Docker container running on the Edge node. Second, a map showing camera locations. Third, the object detection statistics. And finally, the cyclic test data showing the real-time response latency of the Zephyr kernel, reported from the Zephyr VM on the Edge node. Now let's see what happens when we put a cup in front of the camera. The cup is detected by the camera with about a 70% confidence level. On the dashboard, we see a new alert showing a cup is detected, and the detection statistics are tracked. By clicking on the detail button, a video snapshot sent by the Edge device 
shows what happened leading up to the alert, in this case, the appearance of a cup. Let's try again, but with a cell phone this time. We see the cell phone detection, and again, we can view the video snippet sent from the Edge device. In this demo, we showed how video image processing performed directly on the Edge device saves expensive network bandwidth at the Edge by not sending the entire video monitoring stream to the cloud for analysis. It also minimizes the latency between detecting a condition and reacting to it, since both functions are co-located on the Edge device. The power of the cloud is saved for more involved processing and analysis that is not latency dependent. New and innovative open source projects such as Acorn and Zephyr make workload consolidation in edge to cloud applications a reality. Even when strict real-time or functional safety characteristics are required. We encourage you to explore, adopt, develop, engage, and even contribute to these open source projects today. Our supportive communities would love to hear from you. Join us.